How does this small robot chase a blue golf ball? The robot runs ROS on a Raspberry Pi and uses OpenCV, the Open Computer Visual Library, for detecting the ball based on its color and shape. Before we dive into the tutorial, I just want to thank everyone who have purchased some merch on my store. Thank you guys for your support to the channel. If you haven't visited the store yet, you can find a link in the description below. Let's have a general overview of all the nodes that will run in the tutorial. The Raspicam node reads the camera and publishes the video to the topic Raspicam node image, while another node, DK Find, subscribes to the video topic and applies OpenCV to identify the position of the ball. The node publishes two important topics blob point blob with the position of the ball in the camera frame and blob image blob with the edited frame showing the result of the image detection function. Now for the car's control. A node called DK Chase gets the ball position from the topic blob point blob and publishes the steering and throttle correction to the topic DK car control command bell. As usual, we run the Teleop Twist keyboard node on the laptop for sending manual throttle and steering angles values. Finally, the node DKLLC3 subscribes to the commands coming from both the manual input and the chasing node and sends the final commands to the servos. Now, let's go node by node and create our package. Package Setup as usual, we start off by creating a new package. We call it OpenCV and we include some important packages. ROSPY, because we develop in Python, CV Bridge, Image Transport for connecting OpenCV with ROS, sensor messages, standard messages that contains the messages we need. Blob Detection. I copied file range detector.py from the emutils library in the include folder and we call it using the filter hsv. A few words about the color space. Images are usually stored in an RGB or BGR, as in OpenCV, color space. In an RGB image, each pixel's color is represented by the amount of red, green and blue components. For thresholding though, it's better to use the HSV space, that is hue, saturation and value for brightness. We call range detector.py using the HSV filter applied to a sample image and we adjust the minimum and maximum values to best isolate out the blob. Save those values for later. We can also try to call the same function with an RGB filter. Here we immediately notice that we are not able to isolate the blob as effectively as before. In the include folder you find the file blobdetector.py. Inside we have the main function called blobdetect which you can call with the HSV minimum and maximum value, an optional blur factor, an optional set of parameters for the blob detection, an optional search window in a dimensional units in the image frame so respect to the top left corner and an optional imshow flag for showing the step-by-step -step images during the process. First, we apply some blur for denoising the image. Then, we convert the image from BGR to HSV and we apply the ranging filter that returns a black and white mask. Every pixel within our limits is white, everything else is black. The delayed erode steps help removing some small particles left over by the thresholding. Then we use the OpenCV function simple blob detector for identifying the blob. You can pass your parameters or get default values. There is a lot of tuning here and you can find a link with more details in the description below. Now that we have the parameters, we create a blob detector and we pass the reverse mask to the detector to find the key points that are position and data of all the detected blobs. In the same file, you can also find some other useful functions. There are key points, draws the detected key points on the image as red circles, draw window, draws the search window in blue, and blur outside blurs everything outside the window. Draw frame, draws the camera reference frame X in red and Y in green. And then get blob relative position returns the blob's position from negative one to one, scaled as the image frame. 
camera setup. We use the included Raspi Cam node package to stream the Raspberry Pi camera. On my right terminal, I SSH in the Raspberry Pi and launch Raspi Cam node launch file at 1280 times 960 and set the enable raw argument as true. That will stream both the raw and the compressed video. On the left terminal of my laptop, I run RQT image to visualize the video. And here it is. You can notice that the video is nowhere near to be smooth enough for our purpose. For that, we need to stream the video at a much lower resolution. I modified the default launch file as you see over here to stream at 320 by 240 and start it again. Now the frame rate looks high enough for our project. DK Find Node The DK Find Node is in charge of detecting the blob and publishing its position in camera frame. We include the standard messages and sensor packages plus CV Bridge and our Blob Detector library. We create the class Blob Detector where we pass all the parameters for the Blob Detector and we create three publishers, one for the image with the detected blobs, one is just black and white image mask and the last is the blob's position as type point. We then subscribe to the Raspicam node video topic with the callback function self callback that we will define later. Now we define some useful functions for changing the detection parameters on the fly. And last, we define the subscriber's callback function. Here we use the image message to CV2 function of the CV bridge package to convert the ROS image into an OpenCV frame and from here is all OpenCV. We pass the image to the blob detector function and we obtain the key points and the detection mask. Then we call all the functions defined in the blob detection library for drawing the frame and the detection window. Finally, we publish both the mask and the frame. Now for the key points. In general, we expect to detect more than one blob, so you might want to define some tracking algorithm to discard false detection and spikes. There is a very good example from PY Image Search that I linked in the description below. As for me, I will just pick the first key point and publish its adimensional coordinate as a point message. In the end, we write the main script where we define the upper and lower threshold level and all the other detection parameters. We initialize an object from the class blob detector and we start a node with ROSPY's pin. DK Chase. DK Chase is a node in charge of getting the ball location from the topic blob point blob and publish the throttle and steering angle commands as twist messages to the topic DK car control command bell. The property is detected defines a timeout after which the blob is considered lost. If the blob is detected, the steering angle is calculated as proportional to the blob's horizontal position and the throttle is set to 1, otherwise both steering angle and throttle are set to 0. DK LLC3 The last node is in charge of subscribing to the two command bell topics and mix them up with the following logics. The throttle will multiply the commanded throttle from the keyboard by the throttle from the chase node. That means that the car stops if the ball is lost. The two steering angle commands are simply added together. From here we just need to send the commands to the servos and we cover that in our first video. You can find the link in the description below. Launch file. The launch file launches the I2C PWM node for the car servo control, the camera launch file and all the nodes that we just defined. And now it's time for the final task. On the Raspberry Pi connected in SSH, we call the launch file we just wrote down. On the laptop, we can verify that everything's fine by listing all the active topics. Then we run Teleop Twist keyboard node for controlling the car using the keyboard and RQT image view for visualizing the video. And now we are ready for some fun. I have connected the golf ball to a fishing line and set the ball in the front of the car. 
As the ball is detected, the car moves forward at the speed commanded by the keyboard node and applies a steering angle command coming from the chase ball node. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my Facebook page, Tizzano Tutorials, and remember, never stop learning. Thank <laughs> you.